is surrounded by peritoneum, which this is of course, this came from peritoneum, came from mesoderm. Uh, you have secular muscles, longitudinal muscles, peritoneum, and then your coelom, your true coelom is in that area. Uh, nephridia, um, the rest is uh, teflosol, everything else you should be able to see. Again, okay, this is the copulation in the animals. The two animals are copulating right here. And then of course, the uh, cocoon moves forward toward the anterior portion of the animals. And then uh, sometimes immediately after, you might not see the clitellum in these animals. And that's what I was talking to you about it uh, before. Here is a go. Here is the with the picture that I took it from another book. So I can I guess I can um, I can delete this one because I have this one in from your textbook. Okay, last class, class hyrogenia. The leeches, common name for this class are the leeches. Um, Hyrodinia medicinalis. There are different species of hyrodinia, but hyrodinia medicinalis is the species that they use uh, for uh, medicinal purposes, I talked about that in here for uh, a finger that has been cut. Mainly fresh water, uh, they are either black, brown, red, olive green, whatever uh, color, they can be a variety of uh, forms and colors. I don't know, have you seen the movie Rambo 1? The Rambo, the first one, he went to a pond or water, he came out and leeches were all over his body. Hollywood version of And then he took it, he has a big knife, like this big. He took him out, he denied that one, he took the leeches off of his body. It was interesting for somebody, a biologist, a zoologist, yeah, interesting to see these movies. The rest of it was, eh, it was okay. Okay. But anyhow, um, uh, forced the pharynx or uh, proboscis, it was the second one, I'm sorry, not the first one. First one happened in the United States. <laughs> second one, he went to Vietnam, and it happened in Vietnam. Sorry <laughs> Second round. You guys, you guys don't even know who I'm talking about. <laughs> they, I mean, you guys know who I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, so long. Huh? Rambo, Sylvester Yeah, Sylvester yeah, Stallone, yeah. He has another one coming out. Rambo? Yeah, he has another one. Where is he going now? He went to the first one, he went to the second one in Vietnam, third one. He's going to where? America. The retirement center. He's retirement center. Guys, this is me in YouTube. I mean, they might come after us. Good, they'll take it. See, Mr. Stallone is a big guy. He might come after us. Saw like kindness, Jaws. Uh, temporary or permanent parasites. So usually when they attach the outside of, what I mean by temporary, when they attach outside of their host, they suck blood, and then after that they detach themselves from the host. Okay. Um, that's why they call them temporary. And then um, your textbook says all species on planet Earth, they have some kind of leech. They can have. We human, we go to the pond and you saw it in the video, uh, he puts his feet in there, so yeah, they come and suck blood in the baby. Uh, have clitellum, appears only during breeding seasons, uh, hermaphroditic, uh, it means they're monacious, and no appendages or setae. They usually do not have any setae uh, from, but when you look from outside, you will see uh, the annuli, some species, but internally, really, they don't. They are not that segmented like their cousins. Anterior and posterior suckers. They have suckers, anterior and posteriors. On your specimens, you can see that. On both ends of the animals, they have round suckers. And both of them, they can uh, suck blood. A uh, fixed number of segments, usually 34, uh, <clears throat> if they have them. Um, this thing's in loamy compartment. I talked about that. If they have uh, coelom, it is, they do have coelom. Uh, it's on their heart, their gonad, um, kidney. Uh, that's what I mean by compartmentalized. Uh, they have coelomic compartment. Uh, coelom is found around gonads. Here we go. Uh, se uh, septa disappeared. I talked about that. Uh, except the one, one species, they have septa. Lacuna is coelom, which is filled with connective tissue. Uh, so they do have coelom, uh, but what, they are, what he's saying in here, inside of the animal, uh, they have the coelomic area is, con is filled almost like, almost like with connective tissue, which came from mesoderm, almost like a platyhelminthes. 
which they have coelom. Coelom is filled with mesoderm, material for a mesoderm, but these guys have true coelom is around the gonads and the heart and the nephridia. They feed on almost all species, <coughs> human to insects. Again, different species have different leech. Am I making some sense a little bit? Uh, it is just like uh, the best example you came across in here is the hookworm. The hookworm of human is different than hookworm of dogs and cats. Do I make sense, everybody? The hookworm in dogs is Ancelostoma canina. The hookworm in human is Ancelostoma duodenale. Same thing. When I say all, almost all species have leech, so the leech of human is different than the leech of different species and uh, insects. Hope I'm making some sense. Okay, so they have that. Uh, Monations but practice cross fertilization, no larval stage, and gas exchange only through skin aquatic. Here we go. That's why I said if the finger is severe, it's cut. So they put leeches in there. Uh, of course, they don't try this at home. Don't grab a leech and put it on your body uh, because these leeches can transmit bacteria, they can transfer uh, parasites, so it's not healthy to grab any leech and put it on your body. These leeches are sterile, they grow them in hospitals, they know they do not have any bacteria, virus, uh, parasites, okay? Very important if you want to try what I said, go to another country and try leeches and suck your blood so you get rid of your allergies, your arthritis, and so on and so forth. Make sure it's a, uh, a leech uh, type of leech. So what happens if the arteries or veins, the big arteries and veins, the surgeons put them back together? The pressure outside because of the, uh, the it's been cut, they scored out these two arteries or veins, they scored out blood, so now they're putting it back together. Surgeons can take out some of this blood, but not all of it. But what happens, they put leech on top of that wound on here, and that leech sucked the blood outside of the connected vein artery, and that results healing of these arteries and veins faster, okay, compared to the old days, which they did not have anything to do the heal, the severe ear, finger, heal, but a slower rate. Here they are pictures of the ear, uh, and they put leeches on ear. Uh, I know it's uh, not comfortable, but uh, you have to tell the person uh, it's going to heal faster, it's better for you. Here we go again, uh, the fingers has been cut, and they put the leeches on. Evolutionary points, uh, Silom and metamerism may have evolved independently. Um, again, uh, we are coincidentally, we are talking about both of them at the same time, but uh, the evolution of them uh, happened at different times. Mollusk, annelids, and arthropods have many similarities that they might have uh, a common ancestor. We have not talked about um, arthropods yet, we will, and then you will see the similarity between them. They are, they are, um, uh, they are segmented too, but a different segment uh, as you're familiar with the uh, analytes. We'll talk about it. Okay. Is there any questions uh, before I lose your attention? Okay. Um, let's do this one thing um, for five minutes. 